Welcome back to my channel, folks. Today's task is to upgrade ancient Windows 7 to Windows 11. These are the requirements, Windows 7 must be 64-bit if you want to upgrade to Windows 11. It must have enough storage, over 50 gigabytes should be fine. It must be in UEFI boot mode if you want to go to Windows 11. With MBR boot mode, you can go to Windows 10, but not to Windows 11. Windows 7 must be activated with a genuine key. The tools we're going to need are mainly the Firefox browser first, Google Chrome browser and 7-Zip, a free utility to unzip files. As you can see from my system requirements, this is Windows 7 64-bit and it's already activated. If it's not activated, it will look like this. You can check if there is more than one partition and whether there is an EFI partition, that means you're already on UEFI. You can also right-click, go to Properties, and under Volume, it will say GPT or MBR. If there is only one partition, that means it's an MBR boot system. That's how you can identify what boot system your Windows 7 is using. As you can see, I've got plenty of storage, over 60 gigabytes free. So, let's get started. Folks, this is the most comprehensive method to upgrade to Windows 11. This is the best and only way to do it. Make sure you watch the full video and don't skip any parts. You're going to need some time and patience, but if you meet all the requirements, it's going to work for you 100%. We're going to break it down step by step. First of all, if you don't have any browser installed, chances are Internet Explorer will not load any websites. So, what we need to do is download the Firefox browser first, the link is in the description, and you can see it on the screen to download the exact version for Windows 7. I'm downloading the English GB version, but you can download any language from the link. Once the Firefox browser is downloaded, we can go to any website. Specifically, we'll go to Google Chrome and download it, because we're going to need Google Chrome to download Windows. Go to Firefox, search for Google Chrome, download it, and install it. Once we've got Chrome working, we're going to download Windows 11 to demonstrate that this machine cannot run Windows 11 directly. So, we go to the Windows 11 Microsoft website and download the Windows 11 ISO. Choose the correct language, in my case, English, United States. Download the ISO. Once the ISO is downloaded in the Downloads folder, we need to extract it. To extract this file, we need to download the 7-Zip utility, which is free. So type 7-Zip in Google Chrome, download it from the first link, and install it. Then go back to your downloads, right-click on the Windows 11 ISO file, then choose 7-Zip Extract To, and click. 
It should start extracting quite quickly. Now, this is just a test. You can open the Windows setup file and try to run it. It will ask you for a product key. And as you can see, this PC doesn't meet the minimum requirements. Now we're going to use a command that usually works to bypass these checks. Run the command shown on screen and press enter, it will start the Windows setup without the checks. product key. You can either type one in or just say you previously had Windows, and then click Next. Choose the option to keep files only and say Yes. Now when you click Install, it will fail, and as you can see, it has failed. That means you cannot directly upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 11. That means we're going to have to download Windows 10 first. Now go to Google Chrome and type download Windows 10, that will bring you to a page. Right click anywhere on the page and go to inspect. Go to the three dots at the top right network condition scroll down and untick use browser default. Then from the drop down, choose Chrome OS. Don't close that, just refresh the page. On the left, you'll see the download ISO option has appeared. Click on the download link, choose your language, confirm, and then download the 64-bit version. Very important. If you don't download the 64-bit version, you can't go to Windows 11. Now go to the Downloads folder and extract the Windows 10 ISO using 7-zip, in any location, it doesn't matter. Once extracted, don't do anything else. I'll show you this computer by going into Computer Properties. If it's not activated, the Windows setup will ask for an existing product key, which is fine if you have one. But it's very important, if your Windows is already activated, like mine is, when you run the Windows setup, it won't ask you for a product key. That means it will activate Windows 10 automatically, and when you upgrade to Windows 11, it will also be activated. So, keep all files, then click Install. It will take a while and restart a few times. When it's done, go through the Windows initial setup. Once the setup is complete, I'll just change the display resolution so you can see it better. I'll go to Settings, and under Activation, you can see Windows 10 Pro is already activated with a digital license key. Also, you can see it's Windows 10 Pro 22H2, the latest version. 
Now that we understand, we can move on to the next step, upgrading to Windows 11. To do that, we already downloaded the Windows 11 ISO, so all we need to do is right-click on it, mount it, and then run the setup. Choose Not Right Now for updates, then click Next. As you can see, it says Windows doesn't meet the necessary requirements. So, go back to the directory where we extracted the Windows 11 ISO. In the top address bar, type in CMD and press Enter. The command prompt will open. Simply type, setup.exe air product server. Press Enter. This should start the setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions. It will check your PC and should bypass the requirements. It will give you the option to keep files and settings, then click on Install. Your PC will restart a few times. Once it has rebooted, you'll see its fully functional Windows 11. If I go to Settings System About, you'll see it's Windows 11 Pro 24H2, the latest version. And if I show you the activation status, you'll see it's already activated. So there you go folks, you have successfully upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 11. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing it.